Hey, 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 everybody, it's Abby, and I'm here to share with you six things nobody told me about winter break. Reason number one, nobody told me it would feel like three months between the December and the January check. That is the longest wait time for a paycheck I have ever experienced. We get paid a little bit early too, so you're thinking like, yeah, I got money, but you forget that it's winter break and you have to literally go from the middle of December to the end of January. Now, that is six weeks, but it feels like three months. You're pretty much broke after the second week because if you're going home, if you're traveling, you feel like you're balling, you got a little extra money because you got paid maybe two weeks prior to, but then when January hits, especially mid-January, you stop eating out, you stop going places, you just like really sweating because you're just like, when is that next paycheck coming? It's a long, long time. And I would warn you, if you're an international teacher, especially if you're new, you better budget because that's a long six-week period. We only get paid once a month when, uh, well, here, as an international teacher, only get paid once a month. Just because you get paid early in December doesn't mean you have money. Do not play yourself. So it's a long and an arduous time period during that time, especially if you want to be Father Christmas or you want to give gifts to everybody. Remember, those gifts are not in your monthly expenses. So once that money's gone, it's gone. So be careful. <laughs> Reason number two. Now, don't hate me, but it's true. Nobody told me that I would miss my coworkers, my students, and the new friends that I've made. Nobody told me that. You know, you go home and you're just like, aw, I miss them. Or, oh, that joke was funny. Or this person would think that's funny. But you're literally thousands of miles away thinking about the people that you work with. But you was trying to run from me because you was ready for your break. But nobody told me that I would miss them. I miss y'all. Can you believe it? I do miss y'all when, when I'm away. I'm a miss, I miss y'all. You miss me too. Don't lie. But, yeah, be prepared for that. You know, text them. You don't, not your students. You see them when you get back. But your coworkers and your new friends, make sure that you show them some love while you're gone because they might just be thinking about you as well. Reason number three, nobody told me to rest up and relax. You're thinking, oh, I'm on break. Let me go this place. Let me go that place. I'm going to see this family member, that friend. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But you forget that you have a whole nother half of the year to get through. Now, we have three weeks at my school from you know December to January. But then you really have to go from January to June. You gotta get through that next segment. So if you use up the piece of energy that you have during your Christmas break and you come back, don't make the mistake of coming back more tired than when you left. So remember to rest and relax and rejuvenate all that good stuff that you need to do prior to coming back to school. I don't really understand how people manage to travel all of those weeks and come back like the day school starts and be ready to bang out the rest of the year, I give it to you guys. I can't do it. I literally, when I go on vacation, I need another two or three days to, you know, recuperate and, and, and recharge before I can go and do my regular activities such as my job. So, this is your warning. At least throw in a couple of days where you can sit down somewhere and be mindful and relax so that you don't come back more messed up than when you left. Number four, now I made mention of this in my last video, but nobody ever told me to let people come to me. I was overextending myself, I left the country, you know, they wanna see me, I should make the effort. Nah, you don't have to do that all the time. Let people come to you, let them drive to you, let them meet you at a place, let them come to you. They miss you, you'll see them. If they don't miss you, I'll talk to you later type deal but let people come to you it's fine they'll be okay and if they don't come to you it's no big deal talk to them on the phone talk to them on facetime on whatsapp or i'll see you when i see you don't overextend yourself to try to zip and zap everywhere when other people who actually live there can make the extra effort to drive that 20 maybe even 30 minutes to come and see you you just spent how much money to go over the water or across the world to come to at least that region. Friends, make an effort to come and see us. That's a ask, that's a ask. Don't get mad, that's a ask. Number five, nobody told me that my body is just waiting to get sick. Now, have you ever 
been just grinding, grinding, grinding. And the moment you get a break, your body's like, hello, here's some dormant sickness for you. I've uh, been on break at my former schools. And the day that I got to my sister's house is the day that the drainage started and everything. And I was laid out for like the entire break. So be mindful. Take your vitamins prior to like, you know, we get out next week. I'm about to stuff echinacea, vitamin C, oregano oil, and try to get some sleep before I travel because I don't want to be sick. Your body's waiting for you to re relax so that it can release all this other toxins that you got built up as a coping mechanism to, uh, until your break. So be mindful and, and get your health in order because if, if you're not, if you're not taking care of yourself, you're going to spend some time in the bed doing your break not feeling well, and we don't want that. Number six, nobody ever told me to bring an empty suitcase. Like you think, oh, I'm gonna travel light. You know, I'm not gonna get too much stuff. It's no big deal. I made that mistake last year. Only travel in one suitcase, only to have to pay extra to bring my heavy suitcase back or not being able to get it. Think about it, right? If you're in a country where you can't access the things that you're used to all the time and you go home and you just start throwing stuff in, in, you know, in your shopping bag, in your shopping cart and you get back to the house and you're trying to pack and you're just like, oh no. Um, I got too much stuff. What am I? And like, I get like, I got this soap that I like. I got this heavy like hair products that I like. You know, I'm carrying back heavy stuff, heavy stuff. So be mindful. Bring that extra suitcase. Don't don't think that you're not gonna buy stuff, especially if you're going home. If you're going home, home, don't play yourself. At least put the empty suitcase in the suitcase that you bring in. Pack the light stuff in the small one, and then pack everything else that you want to bring back with you in the large one. Keep that in mind. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this is the six things that nobody told me about winter break. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please comment, like, subscribe below. Once again, if you have any other things that you want to add that nobody ever told you about breaks in general, please add them below. Thank you once again for sharing and I'll see you soon. I know you're probably like, why does she keep on coming up with six things? And I think the reason why I picked that number is because I couldn't fit all five and I wanted to add another one, but then I didn't want to do 10 so that people would watch it. Six is not too much, but um, I just, you know, five was too little and I, I had more to share. So I wanted to keep sharing. Anyway, anyway, anyway.